Welcome! In this video tutorial, I will be showing you how to use the Lightner Discovery tool on Lightner Library's homepage. Lightner Discovery is a single search box that searches nearly all of the library's resources all at once. This means that one search will yield results, including books, ebooks, scholarly articles, popular articles, reports, reviews, and even some videos. The central search box on the Leitner Library homepage has multiple tabs above it. To search all types of sources, just enter a keyword or keywords and click the magnifying glass icon to begin the search process. The Articles tab can be used to search only for popular and scholarly articles. The Books tab searches only for books, which are physically accessible at Leitner Library, or ebooks which are accessible anywhere from an internet-connected device. The Publications tab takes you to the Publication Finder search, which allows you to search or browse journals and ebooks by subject or title. The easiest way to begin your search is to do an everything search. If your topic requires only one to four keywords, you can start right here. If you have a more complicated search to try, I recommend you click on Advanced Search below. As an example, I am going to try searching for Technology and Education. Remember to be patient while the results load. The first thing we should notice is how many results there are. Here we see 24 million results. There is no way we would be able to look through all of those. We are going to need to filter these down based on what we are looking for. An easy way to limit down your results is to limit based on the year of publication. The range showed here is the full range of dates represented by the 24 million results we got based on the keywords we typed in. Unless we want to do historical research on a topic, then there is no need to read articles older than 15 to 20 years ago. You might even want to filter the results down even more current, like 5 to 10 years. I'm going to type in 2006 as the oldest date. Hey, now we're down to 19 million results. We can also filter by source type. On the left side, it's a good idea to click Show More under Source Types to see the full range of options. Place a check mark next to each source type you would like to see in your results. In this example, I'm going to check Books, Ebooks, Academic Journals, and that's it. Now we can click Update. By the way, Academic journals are the same thing as scholarly journals. Okay, now we're down to just 5 million results. As we start looking through our results, we'll notice that many of our results are not available in full text. We can tell because the only link under the result is one that says Request it. If this is the only link, it means that we can view the information about the source such as the title, the authors, and the abstract or description. But we cannot read the full text of the item. This Request It link will take you to our interlibrary loan service where we can have another library send us the item. Articles arrive digitally by email within one to three business days, and books arrive by mail and can take up to a week to arrive. But let's say we only want to see what we can read in full text right here, right now. On the left side, we can check the full text checkbox. Now we're down to 2 million results. If we want to narrow our results further, it might be a good idea to click on Advanced Search to add more keywords and make our search more specific. For now, we will look through the results we have here, and I'll show you how to view an item you want to read. 
Let's take a closer look at this one. We can tell it's an academic journal article by the icon on the left side. Click on the title to open the detailed record. The detailed record tells us who the author is or authors are, the source, which is the title of the journal the article is from, and more information about that article, which will help you to cite it accurately in your paper. The abstract is a brief summary of what the article is about. The icons on the right side will help you to find the article again if you need to. The permalink will pop up a link at the top that won't break. Just as a note, the link in the web address bar of your browser will break after just a few minutes, so make sure to remember to use this permalink instead. You can email yourself a copy of that link or put it in a document with other article links so you can come back to them later. Another option is to email the article to yourself using the email icon on the right side here. To read or print the article, click on the full text link on the left side of the screen. If you click on the PDF full text, your browser's built-in PDF reader will open the document for you to view. You can use the down arrow or save disk icon to download the article onto your computer's hard drive. Or you can use the printer icon right next to it to print the article. If you choose to read the article right here in your browser, remember that you can always use the Control F or Command F keyboard shortcut to look for a specific word in the text of the article. Finally, you can use the citation generator on the right side, the yellow icon where it says Cite. This will generate an APA citation for the article. Bear in mind, however, that this citation usually has some errors within it. It is best to check this citation against the APA Manual of Style to make sure the citation is correct especially the capitalization of the article title. Now that you have an idea of how to search in Lightner Discovery, I just want to point out a few resources that you may want to try searching in separately. From the search results page in Lightner Discovery, there's a link on the right side to search for the same thing in Google Scholar. This will search all of the open access content which is freely available on the web. Remember that you can use the custom range on the left side to set the publication dates you want to see in your results. Look for results that have the extra link on the right side. This is a sign that the article's full text will be free to read online. Finally, on our library's homepage, you will see some links that will help you search other resources we have. First, the ProQuest link will take you to our ProQuest database. It is important to search this one separately since those results will not be included in Lightner Discovery. We also recommend going to A to Z databases where you can look through each database we have individually. Going to C for CQ Researcher or O for opposing viewpoints, is a good idea if you are researching a social issue. These sources have good reports and viewpoints on these types of topics. Don't forget, you can always chat with us in the lower right-hand corner, or use the links on the upper left-hand corner to send us a question or schedule an appointment with us. Happy searching!